Hi, today we're talking about the bicep and what that does to mess with your body. The bicep, when it tightens, it can give you headaches, it can pull on your head, it can pull on your chest, it can pull on your back back here, so you might have upper back problems. It all comes from the bicep. So today we're going to learn how to work on the bicep. So what happens is when you shorten your arm all day for whatever reason, you're at work, you're on your computer, you're on your phone a lot, you're going to be getting some shortening in this muscle. Massage does one thing, it lengthens. So I'm gonna teach you how to lengthen the bicep today. Part of what we're gonna do is just massage here. You can put your fingers in like this. Now the tricep, that's on the back. The bicep, that's on the front. Now you can see here in this picture, the bicep is located on the front side of the arm and it hooks up into the shoulder. It attaches directly into your scapula or your shoulder blade in your back. As it tightens, it can actually take and rotate that scapula up and over your body. And you can end up being crooked even on one side. See how one arm kind of sticks out? The other one's normal. That can come from the bicep. It'll hurt in the back. It might hurt in the neck. You could even get a headache. But once we get that bicep to let go, we're gonna be rotating that back. So we're going to put our arm up like this. Hand is going to be in the most relaxed position, which is to give it all its length back. Then you can take your fingers and just massage through there. Now this goes back to pressure levels. The pressure level depends on you or the person you're working on, depending on what they need. Mine's really tight. I've been on the computer all day. So I'm going to be doing a medium to deep pressure. I don't want any deeper than that because I can feel how sore and tight it is. But I'm going to massage all the way through it just like this. If you want a more intense massage, you can hold on to that bicep and stretch it out. This is called a pin and stretch. And what that does is that's going to give length back to this bicep it, that hooks directly into your scapula or your shoulder blade, and it's going to let that shoulder rotate back. Now, one thing that happens is when that shoulder rotates forward, it makes it so I have limited range of motion. I can't even lift my arm now. And so when I get that shoulder blade pushed back to where it's supposed to be, I get full range of motion in my shoulder back. Just changing the bicep can change the shoulder girdle, the upper back, the neck, the headaches, all kinds of things on that side of your body. You might have it on both sides. If you're a hairdresser, massage therapist, anybody who has their arms out all day, computer people, you know what I'm talking about. It starts to hurt in your upper back. It may be coming from not just the fact that you say, I have bad posture. You might need to massage your biceps and get some of the length going back to your back where it's supposed to be. That will help your posture. That will help you to get everything balanced on the top a little bit better. So try that with the bicep. 